All right, so the first weld went good. There was, uh, you can see this, this right here, um, there's hardly any steel left in this area, right here where I'm shining the light. So I put a piece of angle in, and I'm gonna stick another piece of steel on this side and weld the two pieces together. Um, it, it's just a question of adding more steel at this point. So let's have a look at that angle from the other side. So you can see it. there's not much metal to weld to. That's one of my problems. I sawed out everything till I got to the original steel that's about the right thickness, uh, not rotted too badly in other words. And then I welded this piece of angle in flush with the bottom, which I'll, I'll weld from the bottom and grind off at some point. But right now, my, I can do that from the outside. I'm doing everything I need to do from the inside before I close this up. My next goal will be to come in and close this really jagged edge here. I'm going to have to make some kind of, of uh, something that, that boxes in here. And over here, I don't have to worry about that because you can see that's part of the shock tower. It's just there, okay? Here it's gone. So probably going to saw get this ground a little more flat and put a piece of steel in. Probably just a little flat piece or maybe a little piece of angle that lines up with the back of this. You know, something something that I can weld in and I'll have to probably tailor make it to fit that contour and then zap it in place so that I've got this ledge that comes out here that attaches to the shock tower. Eventually I'll have that flush so that whenever I weld this steel in here, it'll weld to the top of that. So piece at a time. The main thing is at this point, you can see you drilled the hole. There's gotta be a drain hole here um, for that piece of angle iron. And uh, so there's more steel than there was factory at this point. It's all I can aim for. Um, and so the first weld in the front end is done. Continuing on. Okay, basically this is a small, I can't remember these, it's like a half by half, uh, by, I think it's 330 seconds, it's slightly bigger than a sixteenth of an inch piece of angle iron that I've got temporarily vice gripped in there. That's going to form the upper edge of my what, what is this part of the ledge that's missing in my frame rail? So I'm going to weld that. All right. We have uh, sewn this uh, piece of, another piece of angle iron in where that, that uh, uh, shelf was missing. Again, we're going to put two more layers of steel. A piece of sheet metal is going to go over this that connects up to this shock tower to mimic the original thickness of this. I'll cut that custom and you know weld this part first, hammer this in and weld that next. Um, 
So that'll cover up the inner layer of this thing to be somewhat flat and mimicking the original shock tower sheet metal. We're done on this side. For the most part, I got one more part I want to add. Hard to see in the low light, but right against here, I'm going to put a piece of custom cut steel that goes around this brake mount and literally I'll weld to the brake mount. If I ever need to replace this thing, I'm going to have to saw it off and put another one on, okay? But uh, I'm just going to sew that entire thing through with one piece of fairly thick steel. And uh, you can see other than that, we're done on this side and underneath, for that matter, uh, to do a little more welding, but the actual fabrication part is done. So we're slowly, slowly getting to a point where there are less and less holes in the front of the car. I think you can see it. It's, it's coming together. Um, so I'm mimicking the original structure as much as possible. Um, and uh, let's just... All right, so that's where we're at right now. Um, put a piece of steel in there, and I'm gonna have to knock all that excess off before I put my next plate on. But uh, essentially, this little tab here, I can hammer in, follow that contour of uh, this edge here, and kind of fill all that in. And uh, we're slowly getting there. It's just, uh, it takes its time. Okay, well, I got a little ahead of myself. Uh, there's two pieces of metal here. There's the shock tower steel, which is similar to this outer steel of this frame rail. I'm going to have to make another patch panel that goes down into this uh, and meets this uh, small piece of channel that I put in. Angle iron, excuse me. And so I'll weld that in. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more of this out so it's a little bit easier to pattern. Probably zip this over, make it straight, and uh, weld a wedge piece in there, and then come back over here and weld pieces in here. Um, and I've already started cleaning up this. I don't have to clean it up real well because there's a whole piece of steel that goes over the outer piece of this um, that, that isn't stock. That's going to be um, like 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So I, I've kind of started cleaning this up. Um, I'm gonna have to grind all this down. I gotta get some ear protection and my ears are ringing already. Uh, there's just too much of this work for me to do that way. Anyways, uh, that's where she's going. Um, slowly getting closed up. All right, so here's what I've decided to do. Um, 
ground this down. I'm going to have a piece of steel that eventually goes over all of this, okay? But for now, I want that hole closed up behind the shock tower with strong metal. That's what this is. And I'm going to weld this in, and then I'm going to hammer this piece back a little bit to try and connect up with that. And then eventually I'll have like a rectangular area here that I can fit a piece of metal into, and we'll be good. So i um, done some fitting to get this sort of knife edge on the bottom. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I've got this kind of held in place so I can tack weld it. Uh, I need to grind some of this. I'll, I'll get a, I have a drill with the brush on it. I'll brush some of the steel clean around this so that I, whenever, whenever I weld, I'm good. So. All right, so there it is in its gory details welded. Um, I have this little square to close up now. And inside here, I think we've seen from prior uh, video by now, there's a piece, piece of angle iron shoring up the internals. There's another piece of smaller angle iron behind this. You know, this, this thing's probably a good 30% heavier than it was factory. And then when I'm done here, you're gonna see there's a piece of steel that gets cut that sits right up against this whole thing, similar to my uh, Coyote Swap car, that will just like completely shore this up. So um, I'm gonna grind all this down and uh, probably leave some of this stuff welded the way it is. But uh, you get a sense for how that's looking. Let's, let's take a look at a couple of other things real quick here that I've been working on. Uh, clutch master cylinder. Um, talking to Zach Damaru, who's done one of these. Uh, he had his mounted about here. No, a little bit further back. I'm going to probably mount mine forward so that the clutch pedal has just a little bit more travel toward the floor because this uh, design of this well wood it hits right there 
So that's where I'm at with that. And let's take a look at my future shifter handle, which was a throwaway, again, theme of the car. Um, I'm making an incredibly short throw shifter handle. That is JB Weld. There's also some on the underside of this. Uh, that's aluminum, aluminum flux welder, or aluminum weld, and uh, so it's going to have epoxy. Oh, and I welded a nut on the inside of the thing too, so it's, it's kind of heavy duty. Um, that's where that's at. So, cooling off. Well, it's dirty business, but somebody's got to do it. Oh, that piece of steel worked like a charm. Um, there used to be a small crack there, but who knows. I'm going to be welding from the other side at some point here. Speaking of the other side, let's go take a look. I haven't looked at it yet. Not bad. There is a crack there. You can see it. But this is the material on the other side that we haven't welded yet. So I'll turn around and weld this not until I've got a couple of other things done. So we got some more patches to do. But uh, we have a shock tower. Better one that's probably had in 10 years. So let's take a better look at that now. So basically, starting with nothing, because there was hardly anything left for Deer Shock Tower. Um, I managed to put back most of the steel. This is all flattened for a reason. I'm gonna, the next thing is to actually cut a template that comes up over and down about, about to here, because from here on forward, that just supports the radiator. This is the actual suspension of the car. I want this as tight as I can get it. So I'm gonna cut another similar thickness to what I just used for this patch panel here and shore up this frame rail better than it ever was. Uh, welding, you know, now that I've got steel, I can weld too. Uh, I'll weld all this and it'll just bring this all together. Um, you can see that's all seamed up. That was pretty much uh, just a little piece of steel that fit in there, and then I ground off part of it and welded, etc. So, it's an actual frame rail and then shock tower. Might be able to make a car out of this. You never know.
All right, so this is gonna be our final reinforcement to the outside or inside of the engine bay outside the shock tower. Um, we're gonna tack this thing in place over here and weld this thing down across the bottom, bottom edge here. And then as I come up here, I'm gonna seam this off against this frame rail and fill this in, this corner. And then grind this flush, because as I go, I'm gonna be clamping this thing tighter and tighter, so I don't really know where this corner is just yet. As soon as I get a rough idea how flush that is, I'll grind that up. This, this, this thing here has a, a, a cut made on the back of it, and I'm gonna hammer that edge down to where it contacts this uh, shock tower. And I don't, I don't know if you can just see it, it's going to end up about double the thickness of what it was factory. And uh, we'll end up with more reinforced, reinforced shock tower. Anyways, that's what I'm up to on... All right, so I, I like the way this turned out. I have some cleanup to do on the welding. These Any little spots in these welds, I'm gonna close up. My goal is to actually use the weld to smooth this out. I'll grind it all down. There will be a visible seam where this thing was put in, but that that is sturdy. Um, Still have to work on the other side. Let's take a look at the other side. Uh, just have to seam it all up. Basically, uh, what I've done is reconstruct the strut tower using angle iron and sheet metal steel. That's how it turned out on the other side. Um, obviously, I did some welding already uh, here, but I'm going to do a lot more. Um, because I'm putting a piece of plate in here, which you'll see next. And then uh, I'm seaming all this up. 
and that will be that. That strut tower will be done. Uh, this uh, idea about using a piece of plate like that, I believe on my Coyote Swap car. Whoa! Knocked my other camera around. This plate here is about, it's just this tall. And my strut tower was uh, rotted on the inside here as well. So this one's in better shape in some regards, but in others not. It was a lot worse. Um, this, this metal though in my Coyote Swap car is just about the same thickness, but across here, in this case, I went a little bit further this way and joined it up with some of the other frame metal. And I'm gonna, um, like I said, close up any holes here. I'm treating this like a big piece of sheet metal, I know, but I'm just basically gonna fill in any of the, the drops here with weld and get it smooth and grind it down some, and then that will be the way she goes. And on this side, since I didn't lose anywhere near the shock, shock tower, um, I'm gonna use this, a similar pattern to this here, same story. So close it in, call it a day. Uh, the rust here is nowhere near as bad because as previously discussed, the battery sits here on these cars. Um, once these strut towers are done, I, I got some other welding to do, but I'm nearing having my engine bay uh, complete. So that's all good. <laughs>